So for today, we're going to be looking at the Hunters more specifically. We're going to be looking at the Mass Effect armor. If you guys don't know, we have already reviewed the armor and the shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. We go through how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And for the shader video, we go through all of my favorite shaders because if I do all of them, I will literally fall asleep because I've actually done that, unfortunately. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Hunters, let me know what you guys think about the sets that I made. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help. Hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because I do think my content is worth it. And make sure to actually subscribe because a huge portion of people actually come to my channel and do not subscribe. So hit the bell notification, subscribe. And if you guys don't like my content later, you can unsubscribe and let me know why. So other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet and the boots for this one. So the Vicarian Cal and Strides. So this one, I ended up deciding to go for a techno, like tech, techno tactical look, I guess you would say, because like there's a few bit, there's like glows in here, but it's also like, I don't know. It's like techno tactical. That's, that's the, like the thing that I like keep thinking of. So for the arms, nucleosynthetic sheath ornament for the Caliban's hand. For the chest piece, deep explorer vest, and then for the cloak, psionic stalker cloak. With the shaders, it's going to be Cambit Celadon for almost everything except the boots. The boots are actually going to be the iron fuchsite or fishite, uh, because unfortunately the Vicarian strides or Vicarian everything honestly takes the off color. So I really wanted green in there. I didn't want the like camo black that the the Gambit Celadon has as an off color. And overall, I think this one came out really, really cool. Um, would I end up using this for the nucle nucleosynthetic sheath? I don't think so, just because I do have other sets that, or I have another set that I like a little bit more. That being said, I think I would only have to switch out the boots and then I'd actually be super okay with it or switch out the chest piece because it's not super like tactical. It is super tactical, but it's not like techno technical. It's more tactical than anything else. I want something that has that like futuristic vibe. So. That's why I think Deep Explorer Vest would be the only thing that I would actually switch out for something else. But overall, I do like this one to start off. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Vicarian Grips and Cloak. This one is a little weird, though, and I will admit it's a little weird because the cloak looks way bigger than the chest piece, which makes it look weird. But I still think it looks good. I mean, I, I'm showcasing it, so I obviously think it looks cool. But for this one, we're going to be using the Omni Oculus with the Omni Oculus Mask because a the omni oculus mask takes off a hood which is what i wanted for this one and omni oculus just because i kind of wanted it and there there is really no rhyme or reason i just was like oh i'm gonna use omni oculus mask i might as well use omni oculus with it as well for the boots interlace strides is what we're using for the shadering precursor x chrome is where you were using because i liked that it was close enough with for the arms that it doesn't look like out of place because again the Vicarian stuff takes off colors and it's really unfortunate, but this one looks really cool. I think the only thing I would switch out would be like maybe switching out the chest piece for something that is a little bit more bulkier. So that way it doesn't look out of place because it definitely looks too like small for the arms and the cloak. But I would, I don't know. I would definitely like switch out the chest piece for like an exotic boot. And then the chest piece have like something just really big, but let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Vicarian QRS with the cloak again, this time with the cloak on. So we're going to be using the Olmstead's Downfall ornament for the Blight Ranger. The arms are going to be Moonfang X7 grips for the boots, Anthemic Invocation like guards. And then for the shader, Omnicronia, specifically because Moonfang X7 uh, has two color variations on each arm. And Vicarian QRS would have taken the off colors as well. So... I just decided to use a shader that's going to combine everything into one whole cohesive look. So I actually think like this doesn't look bad. Uh, I think the only thing that looks kind of like out of place would be the boots. Actually, I'm not saying it looks terrible, but I definitely have like a mindset with this one. It was specifically like I want to say like technology meets like or like actually more like a mecha look, I guess. Maybe I don't know either way, like. I definitely wanted to use the Vicarian QRS with the cloak, but I think at this point I should have just had the Omni, Omni Oculus mask again so that way I can take the cloak off and then kind of go for a more like soldier look. But this one doesn't look bad like by any means. I think just the boots will be the thing that you have to switch out. But overall, I like where my head is going for this one. And then last but not least, we're going to be using the Vicarian strides only. 
this one i think came out pretty cool i like i'm actually quite quite surprised of how much i like this one so for the helmet quas grin for the arms npa weir walker grips for the chest piece pressure stabilizer ornament for the girl falcons halberg for the cloak calamity rig cloak is what we're using so for this one i definitely could have used the omni oculus mask to take out the hood because then at this point it would actually look more like an underwater vibe that being said quas grin i think looks really cool i love the tr the the contrast between like the or the blue and like the bone color with the just orange i think that's super cool the only thing i wish is that the quas grin actually took blue instead of the bone color i think that would have been a lot better um yeah i think this one is probably the best one just because like visually looks really really cool that being said i'm gonna be honest with you guys and i almost mentioned this in i think the review of this armor of all of the armor i think the hunters didn't get the best set like now that i like used it i will say i had the roughest time with the with the hunters um that being said i will not say who i had the best time with for the other classes but there is another class that i was just like literally took me like less than 10 minutes to make all the sets because i was having so much fun for the hunters it was a little rough because the first one i think looks really cool um second one i think has more potential and i want to go back into it and make it like refine it a little bit more the third one i'm gonna be honest i will probably like just ditch this look and go back to the drawing board because as much as i think it look does look cool um i just don't think it has a theme that i'm quite comfortable with and then the last set the last set i actually think is the best set in the in this video for sure so hunters let me know what you guys think i definitely like this set don't get me wrong like the vicarian set looks really really cool i think my biggest gripe and I, I mentioned this in the review video is just the fact that it takes shaders really terribly it takes the off colors so you're gonna have to be fighting a lot of this armor with the shading so hunters let me know what you guys think titans warlocks are you guys excited for your sets you guys should be considering i had a lot of fun with both of them but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later